Hello then, welcome to another one. I trust I found you in good spirits. We're back with another one. This is a special episode, not only because I'm here back on your seats and uh, giving you stuff that is going to be so good. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. My name is Tatenda. Here is not here. The rest of the crew is not here. Pumza is here behind the scenes. But other than that, it is you that is here, and we always come to you week in, week out, because you are special. Now, the person that is next to me, you know when you start a trend where you bring youngsters onto the show, then there's always going to be that clown that comes onto the show and you're like, what are we going to talk about? And I always say, my wife says to me that I don't have any secrets. So this is what happens. Before he comes onto the screen, let me tell you a bit of a background story of what mom said. And I want him to then say <laughs> or to stand up for himself or whatever. So I send mom a message and I'm like, hi, Gigi. Um, I would love to have Josh on the show, and uh, did I just say Josh? I would love to have Dudu on the show, and um, uh, what do you think? Because I want to speak about his achievements, I want to speak about club cricket, I want to speak about high school cricket, and overall transitioning from junior cricket to uh, senior cricket. And she's like, yo, nah, I don't think he's ready for this. Uh, I will try, but and I'm like, nah, 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 nah give him through i know he's going to have lots to say and he's like okay i'll call you back i'll send you a message when uh, he's coming back from school and let you know what he says guess what at a minute past two i get a message and say i get it on my watch and it says he says he's keen and I'm like, of course i know he's keen he's a clown <laughs> ladies and gentlemen <laughs> meet yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts that pop off when I hear people say Mr. Joshua Swart, the kid that is always smiling, one. Just look at how handsome he is. Hello, <laughs> bud. Hello. How are you? Good and you. Welcome to the podcast. Mm, luck. <laughs> luck. <laughs> Amazing <laughs> how your mom thought you wouldn't, or you wouldn't be kin. Why would mom think that you're not kin to, to speak? Because she thinks I'm very shy. And you're not shy, but no. Nah, mm -mm. nah. I've seen shy kids, uh, you are not one of them. Mm -mm. Never. never. Why does the mom think you're shy, though? Because I never talk to the girls. Mom, come on, mom. Really? Who needs girls on this cricket, right? Yeah. Mm, cricket is everything. Yeah. Cricket and school, that's everything. That's all we yeah. need, right? You don't agree, right? No, I do <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Josh, welcome to the uh, Game On podcast. Like it says, um, the reason for the show is to put a spotlight on one junior cricketers that are coming onto the scene with club cricket. But overall, it's um, servants of the game of cricket. And I believe that you're a servant of the game of cricket. But before we get into you being a servant of the cricket, one would ask yourself, who's this kid that is wearing pink? Is he playing for South Africa? He's got a pink run big hat. And what's happening? People would want to know who the person that, that's sitting next to me is. So who is Josh, in your own words? Someone who watch cricket, plays cricket, and sends memes about cricket. Everything and everything cricket. is cricket. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> it's amazing how um, I first had an encounter with Josh. I think he was probably eight, nine, ten, there about, somewhere there about. And uh, it was always this kid that was so quiet. But then as he grew up, probably 11, 12, I would see him wicket keeping and I was like, hey, stop um, stopping the ball, catch the ball. And he'll be like, coach, don't be <laughs> <laughs> And I'm pretty sure when his parents would hear this, they'll be like, Jesus, this kid is disrespectful. But that's just the kind of banter that I've had with this boy. And it's so amazing to see where your cricket is gone. But mm. before we get into where your cricket is gone, where is Josh with his cricket? Uh, you just started at uh, Runberg Old School. And um, how has been the setup coming into high school? It's been, it's been great. It's nice to meet other persons to play with. Uh, they play styles and it's lucky to see some of the friends coming and it's and it's lucky to shine in the team. Ah, yeah. lucky to shine. From the time that you were in juniors, you started at Runback from a very young age. And uh, to see you growing to the stature that you are on or 
the point that you are in with your cricket, what do you think you did differently from another kid? Because there's someone that is in grade eight and they're not scoring runs, or someone that is in grade eight and they're no longer playing cricket. What made you keep on pushing to say, I want this game? Honestly, because I, like, I began at uh, under nine, and I, s I was playing with Moras, Kyle, and the other boys. <whistles> then I knew I must start practicing. <laughs> and yeah, and uh, then I grew a love for the sport. Yeah, so you would you say the boys kept you on your feet and uh, they pushed you to be better? Yeah. Awesome stuff. Morris is more than yeah. and uh, Kyle and those boys are at uh, Kez. And yeah. do you guys play against Kez? We're probably going to play against Kez, but I don't know when. Oh, is that? Okay. So Josh comes into high school. What's going through Josh's mind? In December, when you guys were buying uniforms and all that, were you excited? Yes. But then tomorrow is school. Tomorrow is high school, the big school. What was going through your mind? Honestly, I thought I was going to be bullied by the grade 12s. Why? Because you're big yourself, but No, they're bigger. Like, <laughs> you're they're huge. <laughs> Just but you can still play against them because yeah. you then moved on to play senior cricket and those boys are equally as big. So... Nothing was phasing you, right? Yeah, not really. It was lack of fun, uh, the orientation. Yeah, yeah. How is uh, horse school? Lack of, it's lack of new friends and also the same old friends. Yeah. And w the academic is still sucky. I don't <laughs> like it. And the cricket is, la is better than primary. Is that? Um, you, you, you sort of like just upgraded or you just matured in your high school career under 13 you were not hitting yes you were hitting the ball but you were not hitting it as consistent as you are in high school yeah. can we say high school is better than high school is easier than primary school a lot really yeah wow wow it depends on the coaches okay so the coaches in primary school are nonsense what are you saying about <laughs> me <Eva? laughs> not, you, not you like Spe specific coaches. I'm not gonna. No, yeah, not mentioning names. Yeah, not yeah. mentioning. Yeah. So would you say the coaches have changed your game as well in yeah. high school? Yeah. They've made you believe. Yes. Okay. Because nothing else has changed. It's still the same boys that you were facing in under 13. Mm. Now it's just different uniforms, and yet you are performing more than you did last year. What changed with your mental game? The coaches' positivity and also the team's positivity. Awesome stuff. Yeah, yeah. and I just can if I, I can just perform, and don't care if I go out. That's amazing. I had Coach Tavani the other day. Uh, did you watch that episode? Uh, I was about to, but I didn't get the chance. Do we blame Mom for you not watching it? I don't think so. So it's not Mom. No. Yeah, you better answer properly because you're walking home, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it was not my awesome stuff. So I sat down with Coach Tavani, and he's been your private coach. Yeah. What impact has he has in your life? Because he started with you when you literally could not hold a cricket bat, yeah. and you've grown with him so much so that you look at him as a role model. Mm. Um, what has he done for your life, for your cricket? He has been there for me to help me, uh, support me for bad decisions that I make and help me through the like batting and bowling and if the other guys tune me he helps me with that and not to tune them back okay. so you don't tune guys back don't lie but n not all the time <laughs> okay yeah awesome stuff um how important is having a private coach to someone that is watching this and thinking What's the point of having a private coach? Have you seen any importance of having a private coach? Sure. To have a private coach is to be actually being good. And if you don't have a private coach, I recommend to have a private coach because then you can fix on the little stuff and then you can put it into the games. Awesome stuff. Um, then Josh is coming from 100. You got 129. And it's so funny that that's the same day that I came to our school. I popped in, yeah. and uh, I see this boy with a DSC. So I get there, and I'm looking down at the ground. Then I hear, hello. 
Like, geez, it's your mom and your dad. And there's a boy that is a DSC bat and just, you know, I think he had one bounce four of a mid off or long yeah, off. And uh, they're like, Josh is going to on a hundred. I'm like, yes, sir. Wow. Take me through that hundred. Sure. I was batting, batting a little bit slow in the beginning. Then the lacquer balls came. Hit one over the fence. It was very lacquer. Hit another one o- over the fence. We got the ball back. And I also, and I also scored a lot of fours. Uh, then the last ball went out. I was very tired. Yeah. What, what, what's, what's the thought process behind scoring 100? When you walked in there, okay, you get into your mom's car in the morning, you dress up, whatever, you know you're going to, uh, to play a cricket match this a Saturday. What was your thought process? What were you thinking of walking in? Okay, you get into the car, you know you're going to play cricket. But did you, in your mind, say, you know what, this is the day, I can feel it, that I'm going to score big? Yeah. You felt it. Yeah. What did you do differently from other days that you s- don't score at all? I actually didn't try to hit a ball for six every th- every ball. Like my name, six or nix. <laughs> six or nix, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I put some little, like little goals to achieve on the end of the day. What were your little goals? Five runs on on what's it every over or something yeah and not to bowl wide no no, no we're still talking about your bad yeah, no. so so would you say that you were going at uh small bits yeah, achievable small bit. total so you get to five then what you get yourself on zero yeah you back to zero then start again and uh-huh. again and when you made mistakes you are the like yo 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 please drop it please 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 yeah yeah, yeah. Were you, w- was the mistake because you were getting tired earlier on in your innings? Uh, pr- probably, or I was probably just getting to warm up to the guy who was bowling. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things is there were cones where the ditches were, and I thought that that was the boundary. Then I hit it to them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so, so you were, would you say you were in control of your entire 129? And when you were not in control, was it because you were losing concentration? And if you were losing concentration, what was making you lose concentration? Uh, if I don't know sure what shot to play for the ball or like how to play the ball, then, then I just play shot and hope it's not up. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Amazing, 129. It takes a great deal of mental strength and patience to be able to score 100, yeah. and yet you went on to get 129. What are you hoping to achieve for your high school under 14 career this year? Honestly, just to score lacquer runs, 50s, 100s, and to have fun with my mates. Awesome stuff. What challenges have you faced in um, high school? On uh, the unfair decisions of umpires. Yeah, it's everywhere. Uh, <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> the ball hits your ball box and there's a LB. Like, <laughs> yes, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then it's, it's something that you can't control. You can't. So you just need to make sure that instead of umpire giving you a bad decision for an LB, just use your bat. It makes <laughs> life a lot easier. So yeah. if you used your bat, then the umpire would not have that reason to think that you will be out. Yeah. Then Josh goes on to um, club cricket. Oh, yeah. When mom suggested that, Josh, do you want to play seniors, or was it the other way? Did you go to mom and say, mom, I want to play seniors? So my mom came and said, do you want to play seniors? I'm like, yeah. Then I came to the first senior game last year for a fill-in, and then... I saw you and Coach Tabani then. I'm like, yes, Laka, we're going to win today. Like, yeah. <laughs> then you just see the guys bowling sh- out. <laughs> <laughs> then I see one of the guys who were bowling that day mm-hmm. is one of the first team players in, at my school. Oh, is it? Okay. Choppy, the first oh, is guy. Oh, the, the yeah. tall guy. Okay, uh, okay. So were you sort of... Were you scared or intimidated when you saw him? Because you just said when we started uh, recording, you said the great wolves are massive. 
not that massive. Some some of them are small, but your some of them are huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I saw your mom put a thumbs up again that you're playing again this weekend. What are you hoping to achieve? Honestly, to get a fifty and a, or a hundred and yeah, and at least one weekend. Awesome stuff. Um, fitness wise, what are you doing to be on par? Because yes, you are growing, but the guys that are bowling to you are also growing. Uh, what are you doing with your fitness? Honestly, on this stage, I'm not doing fitness. No. <laughs> You're being lazy, right? Mm. Then that makes the 100 a little bit more harder to achieve because when you get tired, you lose concentration. It's not, it wasn't that hard. I just needed to see the ball, hit the ball, then a six or four. Yeah. Or might be out. Yeah. I see you're bowling now because the very same game that you got 129, you got three wickets as mm. well. Um, you are coming out to be an out and out all rounder, yet you're a wicket keeper. So what's happening there? Are you letting go of the gloves or you're more enjoying the bowling than you are with the wicket keeping? No, I want to keep, but the coach doesn't want me really? to keep because he, he said, says I must bowl. So does that mean he wants you more as a bowler? Yeah. No, because there's a better keeper. Or no, there's not a better keeper. I promise. Yo, guys, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> I love Josh's honesty. And what are you doing then to help the keeper that has been given? Because you know you are good with your hands. And yes, cricket is not about you scoring the runs, but also the knowledge that you impact to your teammates and what you are teaching them. Are you doing anything different for that keeper that is being given the gloves to try and help him? And if you are, great. But then are you getting any sort of backlash? Are you getting any negativity when you try to help the guys? Are you doing it? Yes, I'm helping them and I'm standing there with them at slip, like uh, catching the balls. And now I'm not getting negativity back from them. Awesome stuff. So you guys have got a very good team environment. There. Yeah. We are, we are like a lot of kids from the other schools like Fairlands and Fontys and yeah. Lochaldene. So. Yeah, yeah. What uh, advice would you give to someone that is watching this and thinking, I've never had a 100 in my entire life. I've never scored a 50 in my entire life. I've never come in and batted and bowled and took catches and become the best that I can. What advice would you give to that kid that is going, yeah, or let's do this. There is a kid that was hit by Joshua Anderson when he got 357. Jesus. There is a kid somewhere right now and thinking, cricket sucks. I got bashed. And there is a kid that is there probably at Parktown also that you bashed. Because I coach a few boys oh, that yeah. are in that Parktown side. That's why oh, I called yeah, in. Yeah. Well. I didn't even expect to see you. I don't know why. Uh, what advice would you give to someone that is having a horrible start to their under 14 career? Honestly, and you can tell them that they are watching. You need you need to graft for it, and you need to work for the for the runs and the bowler, and for the bowling. And then you must also have like a mate in the team. And if you're not chilling, then you then you have a problem. Ah oh, man, St please joy gel, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> gel is a side. I think that's that's one thing that we can take out from Josh right now that. If the team is gelling together, there's always going to be positives around, and everyone can feed off that positivity. Josh, with your club cricket, how are you going to balance? Because you guys play Saturday cricket at school. How are you going to balance your club cricket and your academics? Because you're going to play Saturday the whole day, and you're going to play senior Sunday. Where are gonna, when are you going to study? I don't think I'm going to play this weekend Sunday, but probably one of the days. Um, yeah. Saturday, it's fine. Sunday, you are then I must graft for the studying. For the studying. But then you have to balance the two, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not that hard, but it's also not easy. Yeah. You need to learn a, a time management. Management. Time management. Josh is speaking quality <laughs> stuff here. Time management. How do you balance your time before we wrap up? My mom. Mom. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> or mom is a hey, yeah, 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 sit down now and yeah. study. Yeah. And you still listen. You and your mom have got such a very good relationship. Can you credit that to how your cricket has been going? Has mom being yes, you spoke about Morris and Kyle and them, but what has mom done to you to get you to this point? 
to bring me to my private coach to all the games and to support me every game and practice and it's very lucky to have her there. What would you say to mom right now she's watching? <laughs> Thanks mom that you that you're caring for me and I'm and I love you. And you start swinging, are you you're talking to mom. <laughs> Be still when you're talking to mom, bro. <laughs> and what message would you say to your dad? Because he's watching as well. Yeah, he's I love how he's al always there to support me too. And he's always there to help me with with the computers and every hard work, like putting a fan in the ceiling. Yo, that was hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. When did you guys do that? Last year. What is that? Okay. So overhead, kind of that, kind of that, yeah. that fan that does that. And we're going to put now a new one because the o other one is broken. So I need to come and talk to you guys so that you can have a fan in the studio because it's <laughs> so hot, bro. Yeah. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone that is watching this in Afrikaans? I just, I've never heard you speak Afrikaans, but like, just say something like what, for two minutes in Afrikaans, something <laughs> like, uh, and just, or talk to Coach Tavani in Afrikaans, that would be like, uh, he's gonna be yeah. like, what the hell did you say there, but, but <laughs> talk to Coach Tavani in Afrikaans. Yeah, it's, it's very lekker um coaching by Coach Tavani to cry in and it's also lekker om so met om cricket te speel en ek hou van om om by om coaching te kry en it's lekker soos 'n cracker. Lekker soos 'n cracker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever just said that was the one. Yeah. Thank you so much if you're still here. Don't go away because our next guest Yes, we started off with a youngster. We're going on to a 40 plus. The guy that has just come from yeah. um, the 40 plus World Cup. Did you follow that uh, 40 plus uh, cricket World Cup? It was the guys that are over 40s. The over 40s no, cricket I don't World think Cup. So. And South Africa won that. Uh -huh. South Africa. Exactly. Yo. They played in Cape Town and uh, played uh, New Zealand in the final. And uh, yeah, so we are going to be chatting to. Uh, World Cup winning. The only World Cup winning apart from under 19. Oh Josh, yeah. you need to come back into the Protea side, but because we need you. But. Yeah, it's politics. <laughs> Whatever that means, I'm not there. I did not tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> and mom and my wife are just cracking here because Josh is such a comedian. But thank you so much. Don't go away. Peter is going to be coming through. Peter Boysen is his name. He's a mate of mine. And um, we're going to have a lot to, to catch up on of his cricket, where he's uh, seeing himself, and um, the fact that they went into the World Cup. And who came up with such a strategy? Because a lot of times we think that the moment you're 35 plus, then uh, hopes of playing for a national team are going to be uh, running dry. But we also need to put the same spotlight on those guys because they are servants of the game and representing their country, even though they are old bellies, they're supposed to be coaching and doing the stuff or raising families, but because there's a love of sport. And that's exactly what we're seeing with these youngsters. We want to be coming back here in the next 20 years or whatever and say Josh is going to the 40 plus World Cups because he's retired from the mainstream cricket and all that. And that's exactly what we're trying to achieve when we bring these youngsters. So if you are new to the channel and you just got here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Those likes and those shares, they really help us and help YouTube to push stuff towards us and sponsorships as well. If you are a company and you want to sponsor us, please go ahead. As we speak about your company, you're going to get um, footprint into people knowing what you do and how you do it and everything else. So from Josh and from me, no, 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 from Josh, um, what are you going to say as your last words, bro? It's very like a sauce cracker. Like a sauce cracker, he says. Thanks, Josh. Cheers, my boy. What's up, fam? It's your boy, Alake. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much.